Hey there, fellow fishing enthusiasts. Today I'm taking you on a journey to the beautiful islands of Sao Tome and Principe. Nestled in the Gulf of Guinea, these islands are not just tropical paradises, but also a treasure trove of rich fishing traditions. Let's dive into the captivating world of Sao Tome and Principe's fishing culture. First off, let's talk about the traditional fishing practices. The locals here have been fishing for centuries and they have some unique methods that are both sustainable and effective. One such technique is the use of hand-carved wooden canoes known as pea roads. These small nimble boats are perfect for navigating the coastal waters and reefs. Another interesting method is line fishing. Unlike commercial fishing which uses large nets, line fishing involves a single fishing line with baited hooks and line. This practice minimizes bycatch and helps preserve the marine ecosystem. It's a technique passed down through generations and it's fascinating to see it in action. Now let's move on to the types of fish you can find around these islands. Sao Tome and Principe are home to a diverse range of fish species. Thanks to their rich marine biodiversity, you'll find everything from the vibrant red snapper to the elusive barracuda. And if you're lucky, you might even spot a marlin or sailfish. These waters truly offer a fisherman's paradise. But it's not just about the catch. Fishing is deeply embedded in the local culture and community. On any given day, you'll see fishermen returning with their catch, greeted by villagers who gather to share stories and barter seafood. It's a beautiful reminder of how fishing connects people not just to nature, but to each other. And let's not forget the local cuisine. Freshly caught fish is a staple in Sao Tome and Principe's diet. Picture this. A plate of grilled fish seasoned with local herbs and spices served with a side of plantains and a refreshing coconut drink. It's a culinary experience you'll never forget. So, if you're a fishing enthusiast looking for your next adventure, consider Sao Tome and Principe. Whether you're interested in traditional techniques, diverse fish species, or simply soaking in the vibrant culture, these islands have something for everyone. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fishing adventures from around the world. Tight lines, everyone.